All right, let's try one more example. And I wanted to do something with not straight sides. So let's look at this circle that's submerged. And actually, now that I think about it, let's make it even not a full circle. Let's say that the shape um, is a little chopped off at the top, a little chopped off at the bottom. Really, that's just going to change our limits of integration. But I, I want to try to up the ante here as much as possible. Okay, so we are trying to find the hydrostatic pressure on this shape. Um, it is a circle, or most of it is a circle. Let's say it's got a radius of 4. And let's say that the center of the circle is is 20. 20, uh, let's do feet again. Let's do 20 feet deep. Okay, so a lot of the integral we can set up already. Uh, it is feet, so we're doing 62.5. Uh, before we get too far into this, though, we need to set up our coordinate system. And pretty much every, every time so far, uh, we've set up the coordinate system so that x measures depth. And we could do that again, but I am going to say for the equation of a circle... It's really nice if that circle is centered on the origin uh, because then the equation is just x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Uh, so I'm actually going to move the origin uh, to right there. I'm still going to let x sort of be the downward direction. Uh, but notice this is going to change my limits of integration here. Uh, if x equals zero is right there, I guess I need to figure out how far I, I chopped these off at too. Um, but if x equals zero is right there, then the depth of a particular uh, rectangle, when I draw that, um, is not gonna be x. In other words, if x equals zero, uh, the depth, let's draw one of those. If, if, if x is zero, that means I'm talking about this rectangle right here. So when x is 0, the depth of that rectangle is 20. And when x is 1, uh, the depth of that rectangle is 21. Um, and in general, the depth of any rectangle is x plus 20. Right? Uh, notice that even works above the origin. In other words, if x is negative 1, depth is 19. Right? So depth is always x plus 20. Okay. Uh, the height of one of our little rectangles is still a little change in x. x is still vertical for us. Uh, so that's good. We'll still have a dx on the end out here. I can talk about my limits of integration as, as soon as I tell you where I chopped this circle off. Um, let's say, let's see, too many colors. Let's say that I chopped it off at three feet down and two feet up. <laughs> uh, not even a symmetric chopping here. So the limits of integration would be a depth of negative two that's the top of the circle, all the way through to a depth of 3. That's the bottom of the circle. Again, it's a little bit funky that our coordinate system has x pointing downward. Uh, but it's okay. It works, and it works well for what we need. Um, so, yeah, uh, we will integrate from a depth of 18, but in our coordinate system, a depth of negative 2, or an x of negative 2, to an x of positive 3. Okay, really the only thing left that we need is to be able to describe the width of one of these rectangles. 
and the width that distance right there or that distance right there um, if x is down guess what side to side is uh, side to side is y uh, and the reason i mentioned that is the equation of a circle centered at the origin which this one is is x squared plus y squared equals what was the radius four equals 16. so we have y right there and we actually have another y right there at any point on this circle no matter where you draw your blue rectangle the width of that blue rectangle is going to be 2y uh, so we really need our width to be 2 times y and of course when we solve this thing for y we get y is square root of 16 minus x squared. So the width is two of those, uh, one this direction, one that direction. So two square root of 16 minus x squared. And that's fully set up. I don't know if that seemed too easy or too hard, the uh, width is often the hard part, but we put our axes right in the center of the circle, so the equation that described x's and y's on this circle wasn't bad. Uh, the fact that x did not directly measure depth made it a little bit more funky, but not too much. x is just, 0 just starts at 20 feet deep, so just 20 plus x measures depth. And our integral is set up. Um, I don't know how hard the integral is going to be to do. It looks like it might need a little u substitution with this 16 minus x squared in here. Uh, I'm not going to finish the integral. I just wanted to talk about setting the integral up. Okay, I think with that, I will turn you loose to tackle the homework. There's only, I think, eight problems. That's three through 10 all. Uh, and then we will be done with chapter eight and we'll move on to differential equations in chapter nine, which is exciting new stuff. So more to come.